More than 180 years ago, a chance encounter between a priest and a monk ignited a movement. Father Henry Lemke and Father Boniface Wimmer had a common goal, to bring the Catholic faith to the German immigrants of North America. Father Henry migrated to America and Father Boniface would soon follow. Bringing a cadre of monks, he established St. Vincent Abbey in 1846 and began the missionary effort. Father Henry would join the Order of St. Benedict in 1852, but after three short years, Father Henry found himself in conflict with his abbot, and in 1855 he set out from Pennsylvania. He arrived in Kansas, and Bishop Jean-Baptiste Miege sent him to Donovan. Bleeding Kansas had taken its toll on the people, and for the next two years, he pleaded with Abbot Boniface for aid. When he gets there, Father Henry Lemke really finds a community in need, and not only for sacraments, but for love and for acceptance. He finds a young man that's suffering from syphilis, and he takes him in and he gives him his own bed, and Father Henry sleeps on the floor. Through the last sacraments in this instance, Father Henry is really able to save this man's soul in the end. In 1857, two monks were sent west. On April 26th, Father Casimir Seitz was the first man to be ordained to the priesthood in Kansas. On April 27, 1857, Father Casimir and Father Augustine Wirth arrived to establish a new community, St. Benedict's. Father Henry was summoned back to St. Vincent, only briefly a part of the community he had helped to establish. Only months later, in 1858, the monks moved to Atchison. Father Augustine established St. Benedict's College in hopes to recruit and train new monks to serve the growing migrant population. The early Kansas monks were courageous missionaries, offering the sacraments across the Kansas Territory to the Rocky Mountains, into Nebraska, Iowa, and Missouri. The early monks of St. Benedict's Abbey were truly pioneers and men of vision. These early monks began the parishes in the area. The monks began the apostle of education. And so from the very beginning, the monks had an interest in bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ to this area. Struggling in the 1860s to construct a new church and college in Atchison, the community was plagued by debt and the monks found themselves in crisis. The college had to be closed and Father Augustine resigned his post. In 1868, Father Louis Mary Fink was made prior. Under his leadership, the college was reopened and the church was completed. In 1871, he was called away to serve the diocese as bishop, a post he held until his death in 1904. Hoping to turn the course of the struggling priory, Archabbot Wimmer sent his best. Father Oswald Moosmuller was a gifted preacher and was hailed for his financial acumen. Arriving to lead the missionary community, he refinanced the priory's debt and most importantly, established the community's prayer life. With the struggling community set on a solid path, on April 7, 1876, St. Benedict's was raised to the status of an abbey. Not wishing to serve as abbot, Father Oswald requested to return to St. Vincent. In need of leadership, the monks elected the man Abbot Boniface had groomed to be his own successor, Father Innocent Wolf. For the next 46 years, Abbot Innocent led the abbey, growing the community to more than 90 strong. The monks remained dedicated to serving the faithful by establishing parishes and growing the college, ever dedicated to their mission of prayer. Since then, eight men have led the abbey as abbot, each shaping the community according to the needs of the day, from serving in wartime to caring for the imprisoned, from offering the sacraments to serving as educators. For 162 years, the monks of St. Benedict's Abbey have staked their lives on the truth of the gospel, ever seeking to run with the light of life.